Geokinetic System online. Scanner damaged. Repair required. Aerial propulsion jetpack online. Multi tool and mining laser attachment operational. User initialization sequence complete. All right, so now I'm gonna redeem this stuff before I continue. Yes, just got this ship. That's all I have to redeem. I'm uh, I'm starting out here. They gave me my name from my Steam account, but they don't let me pick my name, which is annoying. Cause to roleplay, I would like to have a different name for the character, obviously. I had actually picked a name, uh, Len Jevrus, and it's actually an anagram of Jules Verne, but I can't play Len, apparently. I'll, uh, uh, maybe I should still call myself Len. Oh, okay, 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 let's get on with this. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I have arrived on this potentially hostile world. I'm gonna see about this distress beacon. Reality seems to fold in on itself. One moment I can see debris in another a vast red orb, almost too large and too bright to behold. It knows me inside and out more than I could ever could myself. Could this be the face of creation itself? Or in my hazy, freshly awakened state am I being manipulated? Boy, it sounds like I'm being manipulated. A name burns itself into my mind, Atlas. Well, definitely being manipulated. And a request made without words that I should follow the path this being, this Atlas, has set for me. Um, I, I'm sort of a rebel, actually. I don't trust this orb. Spurn direction and explore freely. Red orb swells in size until I can see nothing but crimson, am I to be smited by a god? It didn't let me read the rest to find out. Okay, so I've, I've denied this this thing that wanted to manipulate me. Oh, Atlas Pass? Oh, required. Shoot. Shielding plate. Damaged machinery. Accelerated Fire Sigma. Photon Cannon Companion Unit. This is uh, a blueprint for us to build that. Okay. Iron Oxide? We have discovered iron. Well, I think I should be... Whoa. I have a flag. I believe I should name this place. Yes. Yes, I believe I should name the system. I'm gonna call it Lycon. For reasons that will be apparent when I name the planet. Units received. The planet will be Helicon. And, uh, no, come on. And that's a reference. I'm going to, all my names... All my names for the worlds will be sci-fi references. Okay, this thing doesn't seem to be living, so I will zap it. Um, okay. It seemed to yield its iron without exploding. Oh, I didn't mean to actually destroy it. I'll have to watch out for that. If it's willing to give iron without it actually exploding. Okay, craft chirite cheat. Okay, so. Thermal protection falling. Okay, I think I, I'll need to deal with that too, huh? Craft product E. Chirite cheat. Okay. Product constructed. Not install technology. Carrot sheet. I need more iron. 
How do I get more thermal protection? I need some stuff for my life support system and hazard protection system. Zinc, titanium, or shielding shard, or isotope elements. Yeah, oh, um... Are you gonna attack me? Okay, apparently not. Um, run. That's an oxide. I need an isotope. Ooh, that's a that's a pit and a half right there. Um, you don't have anything of use, or do you? Carbon isotope. But that's not. Uh, that's not zinc, that's not titanium. I could have shot that robot for titanium, I think. Protection oh boy. Um, guys, how do I get titanium or zinc or what was the other thing? Shielding shard. Well, I don't think I'm gonna find shielding shard very easily. You... Carbon, iron, gold. That I need. Yeah, right. Not right now, though. Um. Uh. Temperature levels stabilizing. Okay, but they're not gonna be stabilizing for long. Thermal protection falling. Shielding shards can be crafted from iron. Um, I don't think I know how to craft that yet. Life support power low. Well, I can get the life support. I guess I don't have that much. How do I? Okay, charge. Technology. Recharge. Okay, well, that's still low. Well, you've got carbon. Okay. Temperature levels stabilizing. Oh, I didn't want to break you. What is this? Zinc! Sorry, buddy. Um, I'm gonna have to harvest you. Oh, no, interact. I don't have to shoot it. You gonna give me zinc? Without shooting. That's amazing. That's high technology right there. Oh. Another ship! Hey! Hello! Can you... Oh, well. Nighttime on this world is quite spectacular, too. Okay, uh, let's see. Charge? Thermal protection falling. Well, now it's all charged up. Technology recharge. Uh, we need to also recharge our multi tool. Technology recharge. Temperature levels stabilizing. Oh, I should get some more carbon first for the mining beam. And again, I'm deliberately not destroying them, because I'm a conscientious... ...visitor. Oh! Aw, uh, Atlas Pass required, Atlas Pass required. Cargo, interact. Geknip. I don't know what a Geknip is. I'm gonna see what that over there is. Oh, I guess that's not much of a forward boost. 
I also am quite out of shape. Find it hard to sprint at all. I don't know if at this point if gold is a valuable thing here, but at least I can be sure that I'm not hurting anything by mining it. So I'm going to be playing an astrobiologist and uh, once I've got my thermal systems and everything and my starship working I'll be mostly exploring. So let's try and craft more of these karite sheets. And now I can repair my launch thruster. Okay, now I need to find Heridium, two more karite sheets, and more zinc. Of these, the zinc appears to be the most difficult here. May not have value here. This is a good point. Since nobody has mined the zinc, but it sort of depends on whether this planet is hostile to other creatures or not. I mean, it might, it's mildly hostile to me, but other creatures might find it totally unable, uh, find themselves totally unable to deal with this place. In which case, they might not have uh, been able to harvest it yet. What is this? Oh, that's another one of those flowers. I'll leave you be. But I really must... Okay, that, that thing was glowing. Oh, I can interact with it. Yes. Provide me with your Thamium. And I will not kill you. Platinum. So now, the biologist in me, first of all, has never heard of Thamium. But Platinum, a plant that... That gives us Platinum. That is a curious thing. Why would it yield platinum? There are many, many ships here. And they are uninterested in what I am doing. Let me throw out a scan pulse. Life support power. No. Ah. I need the scanner repaired. Okay. Okay, well, let's. Re well, we don't have enough carbon to repair it, I see. That's the flower we were at. Flora, interact. My hazard protection increases. Excellent. I, I wonder how that happened, actually. It's a creature! No, no, creature. Uh, I don't have iridium for you. Wait. Wait, I just want to be friends. Iridium required. Hmm. Carbon. Well, there is something there. No, no, th thamium is not a real element. That's why, uh, that's why my character has never heard of it. It would appear that the space squashes are abundant. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Resource deposit detected. Oh, let's throw out a scanner pulse. Oh, my scanner has detected many things on this planet. And this too seems to be glowing for my visor. Platinum. Again, the idea of platinum strikes me because either it has platinum seeds or it has some sort of platinum thing that other people eat so that they can use them to distribute its seeds. Zinc from a, from a living creature, I understand. Platinum is quite a thing, though. At least in significant quantities of platinum. Is is the Heridium that rock up there? 
I hope it's in the, oh no, it's on the ground there. Is this filled with standard life forms or something unique? Seems like it's the same life forms that we found scattered elsewhere on this world. But what are these? I've not I've not seen these. It seems like a mound with eggs. But I don't know if uh, creatures on this planet rep uh, reproduce via egg. So it might be a bad assumption, but if they do, this could be a nest of some kind. Perhaps I can get some iron from it. Um, it seems to react a bit. I think I'll leave it be. Plutonium. Well, certainly in nature I'm I, I didn't think plutonium would occur in this kind of quantity just sitting out here. This is very unusual. But plutonium is bound to be useful for my vessel. Hmm. The way that plutonium flies at me is probably not safe. Um, ouch, ouch. Okay. No, ow. Okay, so there are limits to my jetpack. Abilities. What is this? Temperature levels stabilizing. It seems to be just a natural formation. I can't. I can't interact with it. Oh dear! I almost speared myself on a uh, outcropping of plutonium. Sorry, didn't mean to destroy you. Oh! No, no, I, I didn't mean to be do anything bad. No, stop, stop it, stop it. I did not mean to do anything wrong. Please, let me not be misunderstood. I am now merely mostly harmless. Debris. New technology discovered. Bolt caster clip towel. I will need nickel to craft this one. Warning. No! 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 What? No! No! There's more! Ah! Wait! Where are they? There they Run, run, run. I don't suppose I can crouch. Destroyed one sentinel. I thought I had already destroyed one sentinel. I really must recover my health. Let me scan again. Uh, this seems to be of great significance. is quite a lot of gold. It can't be that valuable if there's that much just sitting around. Hmm. This, uh, there might be a artist- ow! Shoot. There may be artistic possibilities with this. Hmm, 
I better conserve my mining beam energy, though. What is this? Well, I need carbon, or uh, maybe I can use plutonium. Crown protection falling. Titanium. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. I think I have finally discovered the Heridium deposit. So to transfer from my exo suit to starship, I press X. I believe I can store the platinum. I don't think I need to hold on to the Gecknip, which is a tradable commodity. The shielding plate as a defensive energy source. I won't hang on to for now. The gold certainly I've found no use for. I need 200 viridium. So I believe I will mine out this whole thing. Certainly this world now seems to be abundant with the resources I need, and look at all those ships. Look at all those ships. There's clearly quite a civilization around. I will have to try and figure out how to communicate with them though. That may be difficult. Protection Let's check our inventory. We have 250 units. Is that enough to fix the pulse engine? We need some karite sheets. My pulse engine Technology repaired. can now be repaired. Objective complete. I wonder if it's worthwhile to continue mining the ceridium. Since it's necessary for pulse engines, well, we have another milestone. Starship repair. Since the Heridium is essential for pulse engines, I would assume that it has high demand. So I'll continue to mine it. I believe I should probably head back to my starship. As I'm uh, going further and further away from places where resources seem to be abundant. This is quite a barren area. I wonder if I can find those creatures again. So many ships. Plutonium seems to be always useful and unusually abundant, but here we are. Wait. What is this? What is... Oh. This plant seems to have a rotating orb under its roots. I wonder why it would develop such a thing. I can't even begin to speculate. Crown 
Protection falling. I'll just harvest one of these. This is a fairly regular Heridium block. Guess it occurs in this form as well. With uh, edges instead of an around structure. But I must find those creatures again. They were closer to my ship. There's a mysterious crate just sitting here. A knowledge stone. It seems I've learned the local word for rare. Corvax. The people of this world are the Corvax. Temperature levels stabilizing. Fascinating. I hear creatures. Wait, there is a lizard-like creature. No, please. Please. Oh dear. I have befriended the lizard-like creature. F? Oh! Whoop! Oh, don't shoot it. Aha! Now we must name it. Okay. So I want to rename it. Uh, no, no. <laughs> go back, go back. Okay, rename. Okay. And we, we will go with a uh, semi-scientific name. Lizardus... Uh, Helicanus. Yes. Units received. It is a lizardous helicanus. That's a proper name. Oh. We've got a lot of heridium now. Technology recharge. Don't need any more technology. Um else we can transfer that. Um So could we have done that same thing with some of these plants? Yes! Oiribum... No, I can't pronounce that. We must rename it. But I must get this plant. This plant is most important. Okay. Um... It interesting. This image doesn't uh, include the orb itself. The spinning orb is the spinning orb a separate entity? I don't know, but they seem to be symbiotic. So, Orbius. Uh, well, well, hold on. Better. Plantus, because we have to have that. Orbi rotatum. Plantus orbi rotatum. There we go. Units received. Orb is a nest of some sort. Hmm. But it, it is a plant, though. Well, at least I think it's a plant. Now, this other plant. Hmm. What would you call that? Sort of a web. It looks like a webish sort of thing. I think I'll go with web. Um, it's almost like a butterfly wing kind of thing. Uh, web spicus. Feathers? They have holes though. Hmm. 
I think I'll go with this. Oh! Profanity filter. Weird. Okay. I didn't even... How? Okay, well, Plantis we know word. Web Spicus apparently does not. Maybe, maybe we'll go a few, uh, not, not Feather though. Pointus. Web of Pointus. Okay. Is this a thing? This is a thing. My god. What, what do you s Wait, it's the rock? Uh, it's not showing the most interesting part of it. So that's sort of like a lava lamp thing. I think um, we will call it... Rockus... Spring? Apple Spring. I'm not gonna put uh, Apple Spring. Uh, I'm not gonna put uh, uh, us on it. Raucous Apple Spring, because it looks like a green apple to me. Yeah, a green goop. There is a uh, point of interest on my HUD over there. And over there. That point of interest seems to be moving. Young Bono Plains Undiscovered. I wonder how I make it discovered. Ah! There appears to be some sort of structure here. Ah, this is how I discovered, is it? That's a lighting platform. And now I have saved my progress. Interesting.